Your Holiness, since you were here the last time, you uh, challenged us to stop talking and start acting. And so, over the last few years, we've been trying to mobilize the schools in British Columbia to focus on social and emotional learning and to take seriously educating the human heart. One of the ways that we've been trying to do that is to get the whole education system to recognize that educating the human heart means starting right at the very beginning of life. Because as children develop vision, as they develop hearing and touch and speech, particularly the sensory parts of those, uh, develop connections with the deep, deep structures in the brain that have got to do with whether or not we feel like we belong or whether or not we feel threatened. And so the children who grow up in environments which are threatening, where they see lots of angry faces, where they deal with lots of this kind of touch rather than that kind of touch, and when they're shouted at and so forth, by the time they reach school age, their brains are actually different from children who have grown up in strong, uh, emotionally accepting environments such that they sense threat where others don't. They see threat where others don't. And that means that there are huge barriers to them becoming compassionate citizens of the sort that you just described. So one of the things that we've done over the last few years is we've worked with all of the kindergarten teachers in this province. So we're talking about several thousand kindergarten teachers when children at age five, getting them to look at the state of children's development. Are they physically aggressive? Are they empathic and helpful and so forth? And provide that information so that we can actually map out the contours of early social and emotional development for all of the neighborhoods in the province. And we've done this once, twice, three times. So we are the first jurisdiction in the world that has thoroughly mapped the state of early social and emotional development.